3, Grok 3 has very powerful reasoning capabilities. In the tests that we've done thus far, Grok 3 is outperforming anything that's been released that we're aware of. It, it's, in, in fact, it, 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 at times I think Grok 3 is scary smart. You're like, wow, this thing's smart. It's scary. Grok 3 is scary. It's wow, this thing's, it comes up with solutions that you didn't even think were it, like you, you wouldn't even anticipate. They're not obvious solutions. So Grok 3 was trained with the most amount of compute and I think very efficiently trained. Grok 3 was trained on a, on a lot of synthetic data and, and, and then it's, it goes back and forth through the data and tries to achieve logical consistency. If it's got data that is wrong, it, it'll, it'll actually reflect upon that and remove the data that is, that is wrong. It does not concord with reality. So it's, it's base reasoning is very good. Even without fine tuning, Grok 3, the base model. So with the, so we're, we're really in the final stages of polishing Grok 3. Probably it gets released in, a few, in about a week or two. We're, I don't want to be hasty in the release because a lot of the final polish is necessary for a great user experience. In some ways you can think of it like a house. That last 5% where you do the finish the, the drywall and, and do the painting and the, the, the trimming, even though it's not much work, it transforms the, the house. Yeah. So it's that, I just want to make sure that last 5% is done really well. And it's a week, maybe two weeks. I think it'll be very good. And I think this might be, we think it'll be better than anything else. And then maybe this might be the last time that any AI is better than Grok.